Hi guys, welcome to the vlog today. I want to be productive and if I'm filming, it will force me to be productive. I have a couple of things that I wanna get done today. One of which is I want to do yoga. So I'm gonna start the yoga with Andrea, I think that's her channel name, the 30 day breathe challenge or breathe yoga, whatever it is, I'm gonna do that. But first, I'm gonna have something to eat. I'm just having a can of soup for lunch today because we're gonna have stir fry tonight and we've got a bunch of leftovers, so I don't really wanna make more of anything. I want to clean the bathroom upstairs and those are kind of like the productive things I want to do today. Hello, welcome to lunch. <laughs> plugged in and I'm gonna eat my soup. I'm gonna finish my YouTube video and then we're gonna do some yoga. All right, I'm all done with my soup and I've got my video queued up, so let's try and do some yoga. <laughs> all right, I'm done my yoga, I actually feel so good i feel relaxed i'm honestly super tired i could almost have a nap but i want to go to bed early tonight because i'm trying to get up earlier i'm trying to make myself like a eight o'clock riser when i'm not working considering when i'm working i have to get up anywhere from three to six a.m so i feel like eight o'clock's nice it still makes me feel like i'm sleeping in i'm trying to keep on that schedule so I want to get to bed early tonight and I'm just not gonna take a nap I'm now drinking an entire tumbler of water this was full to try and stay hydrated and then I'm gonna go upstairs and I think we're gonna finally be productive <laughs> okay let's start cleaning this filthy bathroom I have about a half an hour and I want to get this done in I am starving so that it will give me incentive to kind of like get it done quickly. Let's get started. solid week later but I've done yoga twice which is a lot for me I'm having something to eat because I have a doctor's appointment at 2 and it's currently 12 so I'm gonna eat something go get ready for the doctor's appointment because I wait for it have a pap smear today <laughs> yeah I am actually in a super productive mood we'll see how I feel after the appointment. I think I'm gonna have like a productive cleaning day, which I know is technically what I did last time because I cleaned the upstairs bathroom, but like that was a whole thing that needed to be cleaned. And this is like, I'm, I'm cleaning my downstairs because we made dinner last night and we're too lazy to uh, clean up. So, all right, I'm about to jump in the shower again. Don't mind her, we're gonna fix her up, but I figured I would show you my outfit, which is kind of weird, but it's such an awkward thing to have to go and like do, especially after not seeing my doctor for almost an entire year because of everything that's going on. Like I'm obviously not going to go in if it's not absolutely necessary and I am overdue for this appointment, but I just wanna be comfortable. Obviously when you go in, they're gonna give you like the, the scrubs that you change into, but I just have what I wanna feel comfortable going in and then leaving after all of it. So I just have a sports bra, I've got a hoodie, and then I've got a pair of sweatpants. Hey guys, it's way, way later now. Fit is still on. 
pap is done honestly like it's not bad it's not bad is it kind of awkward yeah obviously this is my second one that i've ever had i love my doctor because she's literally just a cool lady and no matter what you say she will never make you like feel bad about anything like i see those tiktoks where it's like tell me something unprofessional that a, a like medical professional has said to you and i can honestly say that like any feelings, any like anything that I've ever said to her has never been invalidated. She will always talk stuff through with me and then we will always have like some sort of a personal conversation because she wants to like keep up with what's going on in my life even though I haven't seen her since last February. She's like, I haven't seen you in a while. I know you're overdue for the pap, but like what's going on in your life like socially, not just medically. Cause she, she asks that question too. Like, are you happy with what you're on and this and that do you have any questions about stuff? And I did, I had questions, but she'll also ask like personal questions so that she can also check up on other, other things in life. And like my mom goes to her, my grandmother goes to her, lots of people in my family go to her. Obviously there's the confidentiality of like each appointment and she would never break that confidentiality. Like it's just nice that I can have that open dialogue and like even though something super invasive is happening to me, I can have a conversation with her that makes me feel like I'm talking to just like, a friend or someone that like I'm comfortable with because it is such an awkward experience like this time around we talked about the vacations that were canceled because I'm in the travel industry and she was like oh I'm so sorry like are you laid off and I'm like no and like it was just a really good chat I think it's important I think that if you have really awful horrible stories like change your doctor my doctor does it and I'm fortunate that I have a female doctor and that's what makes me feel comfortable but like I don't know I also had a booster, which was actually more stressful than the actual pap itself because I walked in, got my weight, got all that done. And then the nurse came in and she was like, oh, you're due for a booster for like tetanus and all that. Is that okay? Like, do you want me to give it to you now? And I was like, obviously I'm going to say yes. And she was, and I was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. All of a sudden, like cold sweat. Like I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to have a needle. I can't even like handle this. The nurse in my doctor's office is just bomb and I'm like okay deep breaths Vanessa you haven't had a, a needle in a really long time and she like does it I feel nothing I'm like oh, bitch that's amazing why are you so good at your job she's like oh, thanks great experience loved the fit everyone complimented it she was like that's what I want to be wearing right now it was like I was like girl this outfit was by design this was a full I gotta pick it out if I'm gonna be uncomfortable I better be comfortable being uncomfortable and she was like preach yes this is my check-in um I didn't do anything on my list I have it written right here at my doctor's appointment so I guess yep check uh, I didn't do laundry so big x um clean kitchen my boyfriend did that I guess like two and a half things off the list check <laughs> I think I might actually just end the vlog. I am super tired. It's been a stressful day because I worked myself up. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been up since eight. It's 10 now, which is not a long day and I didn't work today. It worked yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna drink a bunch of water and go to bed and I'll catch you guys next time. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. What do you do for your pap if you know what a pap is? Bye. <laughs>